Sports, the coach of the boys' cross-country team, Robert Smith, was announced to be a Coach of the Year finalist for the eighth time. He led the team to a second-place victory in the fall, continuing their success from previous years. Also on Friday, Novi Varsity Field Hockey played against Skyline and honored their nine seniors during halftime. The field hockey players did their best, but ended their winning streak with a score of 5-2. These early competitions emphasize what areas a team needs to improve upon. Novi coach Joel Smith commented on the performance of his team so far. Looking at Friday's matches, he said, quote, We didn't wrestle great, but I saw a lot of positives. He also described the team as being very young, especially since 10 seniors were lost last year. They are still trying to fill some weight classes. Also on Saturday, the boys' swim team competed at the Fenton Relays and left as champions. Three swimmers made states and one earned a new pool record. The girls' varsity, junior varsity, and freshman teams all played against Chelsea at home. Varsity prevailed over Chelsea with a score of 46-34. to The junior varsity team won two, scoring 40 points compared to the Bulldogs' 15. The freshman team lost against the Bulldogs. The Pistons lost against the Orlando Magics with a score of 98-92. to after the game, Detroit's head coach acknowledged his team needs to work on their defense and says the Magic's win was well-deserved. The varsity basketball team played against Rochester. Varsity started off their season with a win, earning 74 points against Rochester's 55. In school sports, the hockey team played against the Salem Rocks at Western Michigan. The game ended in a tie, with both teams earning two points. Boys and girls varsity bowling bowled against Wild Lake Central this weekend. The boys split the Baker games, losing one and winning the other. They lost both of the regular games. The girls' varsity team won both Baker games, but lost the regular games. However, the second regular game was close. The Wildcats came within a strike of winning. Both girls' cross-country teams competed in an invitational, where each team earned third place. Eight Wildcats medaled, and of those eight, five broke their personal records, while three surpassed their best times of the season. The Pistons lost by 15 points to the Indiana Pacers. Detroit has now lost five of the eight games since Reggie Jackson, the team's primary playmaker, has returned to the lineup. The junior varsity and varsity volleyball teams competed. The varsity team played against North Branch and took home a win, along with the junior varsity team who won the Huron Tournament. The boys' varsity swim and dive team defeated both Okemos and Brighton at a double dual meet. Their score against Okemos was 121-65 and 132-53 against Brighton. These wins changed the boys' dual meet record to 3-0. On Thursday, volleyball captured their third consecutive regional win. Now, Varval will advance to the state quarterfinals against Birmingham Marion at 7 p.m. tomorrow in Troy, Athens. According to Novi's head coach, Jen Cottrell, the team plans to focus on, quote, what they need to do to win in the process, and it has really paid off because it takes the pressure off to focus on volleyball. On Sunday, the Lions lost against the New York Giants with a score of 6-17, to ending a five-game winning streak. Detroit made it to the red zone three times, but only ended up with two field goals. The Lions are still first in their league by one game. The Red Wings lost against the Canadians this weekend, not scoring any points. The Canadians scored five. They took charge right away, earning a point within the first five minutes, and took two more after penalties. In the second period, one player deflected a shot to make it 4-0, and another scored off of a backhand to put the final five points on the board.